the life-saving station. On a dangerous sea coast where shipwrecks often occur, there was once a crude little life-saving station. The building was just a hut and there was only one boat, but the few devoted members kept a constant watch over the sea and with no thought for themselves, they went out day or night tirelessly searching for the lost. Many lives were saved by this wonderful little station so that it became famous. Some of those who were saved and various others in the surrounding area wanted to associate and give their time and money to this little life-saving station. New boats were bought and new crews were trained. The little life-saving station began to grow. Some of the new members of the life-saving station were unhappy that the building was just so crude and so poorly equipped. They felt that a more comfortable place should be provided as the first refuge for those saved from the sea. So they replaced the emergency cots with beds and put better furniture in the enlarged building. Now, the life-saving station became a popular gathering place for its members, and they redecorated it beautifully and furnished it exquisitely. Few members now were interested in actually going on a life-saving mission, so they hired lifeboat crews. The life-saving motive still prevailed in the club decoration, and there was a liturgical life-saving boat in the meeting room. About this time, a large ship was wrecked off the coast, and the hired crews brought in boatloads of cold, wet, and half-drowned people. They were dirty and sick, and some of them even had yellow skin. The beautiful new club was considerably messed up, so the property committee immediately had a shower house built outside the club where victims of the shipwreck could be cleaned up before coming inside. At the next meeting, there was a split in the club membership. Most of the members wanted to stop the club's life-saving activities as being unpleasant and a hindrance to normal social life of the club. Some members insisted upon life-saving as their primary purpose and pointed out that they were still called a life-saving station. But they finally were voted down and told that if they wanted to save lives of all the various kinds of people who were shipwrecked in those waters, they could begin their own life-saving station down the coast. So they did. As the years went by, the new station experienced the exact same changes that had occurred in the old it evolved into a club, and yet another life-saving station was founded. History continued to repeat itself, and today you will find a number of exclusive clubs along that shore. Shipwrecks are still frequent in those waters, but most of the people just drown.